Yo, what's good, guys? I got invited to a flash early screening. I'm trying to share the moment with y'all because it's fire. But, like, you know, I'm just, like, you know, here in the VIP bathrooms. Like, you know, it's fire. I'm just joking. I'm in the Chick-fil-A bathrooms. Still. What? That's a hot spring. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to this. Oh, All right, guys, so don't mind my hair. But, like, you know, I've been walking around for, like, six hours. And, you know, like, I came in here, like, at 11. And it's supposed to start at 7 because I wanted to be early. But now, look at that. The theater that we're going into. Thank you for that. And now, these are all the people that were waiting, like, six hours later. Oh, I was scared because I thought I wasn't going to get in. But then we got it because I did my thing. And you see the thing there. And then I fell off. And you guys don't know for how long I wanted to see the screen in front of you, man. And then there goes the thumb or like the finger that I hurt while falling. And then, cause like I had to get a seat for myself and, and my older sister, cause she's a really big DC fan. And then there, there you see me again with my horrible hair. I don't know why the air hated me today. All right, guys, I'm back from the, from the early screening and um, I okay, okay uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way first first of all I'm gonna get this out of the way it's a really good movie and like damn like shit they stop the game up I like I have like people that are really big DC fans like personally me this doesn't mean anything I just like Batman because Batman's a bat and like he's cool you know So like if you guys can tell i'm a marvel fan so yeah so coming from like you know a marvel fan and like not being biased or anything it was really good i really thought this movie was gonna be generic yeah generic i thought it was gonna be just another like normal movie like how the blue beetle thing like i'm like you know i'm definitely gonna go like day one for that I, I, if warner bros wants to do like if they want to invite me or something please i'm not gonna go into spoiler territory in this video i'm not really gonna do a spoiler review because i'm not really a movie channel but i like doing reviews um okay the first thing that i want to get off my chest is that if you guys are scared oh my god ezra miller this ezra miller hit a person and then like they took them out or whatever like to be honest i Bro, just enjoy the movie. Like, I I can understand if you guys don't want to watch the movie. But, like, if you guys just want to watch it for The Flash, like, you're going to forget about it. I legit forgot about it. Until, like, my brain remembered he punched a woman. <laughs> and then that was, like, oh. You know, it was a really cool movie. Really good characters. Sasha Kai, amazing. I really wish I could have met, like, some, like, actors. But, like, you know, I live in not a so popular. I, I mean, I live in the DMV. Who else is going to be there? Yeah, but also, like, you know, the acting was actually pretty good. And, like, the movie had a great balance with humor and drama. Because, like, that's, like, some stuff that the Justice League, like, couldn't get right. Like, they, they almost were going, like, towards the Marvel route. But then they were like, oh shoot, we're DC, we gotta make this, you know, serious. And sometimes they were serious when they needed to be. And sometimes they were like, you know, funny and comedic when they needed to be. But mostly it was just like, you know, it was a really well balanced between like one and the other. Yeah, the CGI. Shit, that shit was rough, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. If that is in the final cut, that is embarrassing. Like, I know it's like an early screening and whatever, but damn like when i saw i'm not gonna spoil it but when i saw someone i legit thought it was bad just to be bad also i want to explain this i'm gonna try to go not into spoilers but yeah like like in the in the finale i'm not gonna say anything but like it just it was a very different like you know thing it was a very different like thing that i've never seen like in any comic book movie or anything but like there was this one you know this one person that was you know getting teased or whatever throughout the movie and then at the end they got to do nothing like they got to do absolute when they came in i was like oh it's him or her I, I, i'm sorry and then um once something like you know happens i'm like oh 
that was it like i was i'd say generally speaking like as a just a normal casual movie going person i would give this it's gonna be an eight out of ten because it's just like you know the thing that happens in the end and i'm they don't really explain stuff that well but like it's still n not gonna ruin the whole movie for like everyone. As a critic, it's a uh, second like eight. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. It's just some things. That's why it's not a nine. Not even a ten. It's not a ten. It's not a nine. It's an eight. It's not an average movie. By all means, it's not. It's like more than an average, but it's not a perfect movie because it has its flaws, but it doesn't have that many flaws, which, you know, make it kind of like actually good. One of the best DC films. It's not better than the Suicide Squad, so, you know, <laughs> it's fine. If you guys are here right now, please, you know, just do me a favor, you know, like maybe subscribe. Who knows? I'm not begging. I'm just suggesting.